Today, most people are choosing to live in cities. In fact, by 2050, 75% of the Earth's population will be urban. This is the largest human migration in history. Low-density 20th century development in the U.S. was based on universal use of the private car. Suburbanization is still on the rise. This kind of development uses more energy and causes more pollution. While dense development sustains public transport, shortens travel distances, and keeps household transport costs affordable. Unfortunately, rapidly urbanizing nations are following an American suburbanization model and building in ways that encourage driving. For cities to thrive, we need to create urban environments planned and designed for car-free living. And according to climate scientists, we must do it in the next 15 years. A high shift toward transit-oriented cities with public transport sustaining densities can cut CO2 emissions projected by 2050 to below 2010 levels. Living in a multi-dwelling building near transit will do more for the environment than living in a suburban house with solar panels. Cities offer proximity to ideas, culture, healthcare, innovation, and the good life. People share walls, restaurants, transport, sidewalk conversations, and life lessons. Cities with higher development densities offer more economic opportunities and bring a better quality of life. Living in higher density neighborhoods makes it much easier to get around and be more physically active. The question is, how can we build cities to enable greater density and accommodate a more prosperous world? To combat the high cost of housing and mediate displacement, cities must expand the supply of compact, mixed-use, and transit-oriented affordable housing policies. How buildings touch the ground and sky is important. What a great view! The bottom two floors of buildings make cities lively. That's where they connect to street activity. Skillful design makes dense development attractive with open skies, active streets, and character. To be successful, density must frame attractive public spaces. When we think of density, we often think of overcrowded places. The problem with this is not population per se, but a lack of planning, services, and amenities. If cities allowed more development density, we could provide quality housing for everyone without contributing further to climate change. This could be the century of enlightened policy. Cities need to build public transport at the pace they are growing, focusing development around transport corridors with a mix of amenities. Neighborhoods need to be designed with walkable destinations and pleasant, vibrant streets. We can't just be moving cars as fast as possible. Higher densities cannot exist without high-quality, well-maintained infrastructure. More development density requires less infrastructure per person. It costs less financially and environmentally. What future would you choose? Decisions made today will decide if and how cities work tomorrow. It's smart to be dense. In fact, it is vital.